Today we're going to be making windows and an in-ground pool. Pretty simple, so please pay attention. First, some review, I'm going to click on this black arrow. It's the selection tool. I'm going to select this coffee table. I want a few more, so I'm going to press Control c and then Control v And voila! Control v again, because you can never have too many coffee tables. Put that one right there. I know if I press S, I can change the scale. I can make it bigger. And that's a good looking coffee table right there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold, shift, and roll the mouse wheel. I'm going to orbit around. And this wall isn't getting, uh, this room isn't getting any natural light. So I'm going to make a few windows. I'm going to click on the rectangle tool. I'm going to click once. Click twice. And that looks pretty good right there. I'm going to use the push-pull tool. And you know what I'll do? I'll rotate a little bit, orbit at an angle and I'm going to push in until I get to where it says on face and when I see that I'm going to click once more and all of a sudden we can now see through this wall. This wall is a little thick so what I'm going to do actually I'm going to change the uh, thickness of the wall in a moment. First I'm going to show you something else. I'm going to make another window right here a little bit bigger but because I already um, pushed it through all I need to do is double click and We've got our window right there, and I'll make one more window because third one's a charm. Okay, I'm going to double click on the push pull. Beautiful. Next, how do we create windows? Pretty easy, actually, believe it or not. So I'm, I can see right through the house. I can see those coffee tables. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to, again, use the rectangle tool, and I'm going to go to the upper left-hand corner and go all the way to the bottom right hand corner and when I do that it creates a plane and I'm going to switch to the yellow paint bucket and I'm gonna drop down to translucent translucent means you can see through it and we've got lots of different glass that we can choose from so now we've got this sort of yellow hue and if I wanted to change it to a nice blue that looks pretty good right there Similarly, I can use the rectangle tool. I'm going to do glass tinted. Nice. So now our house has got some nice windows. That looks pretty cool. I'm going to reduce the thickness of the wall by returning to the push-pull tool and just going like that. There we go. You can adjust the walls accordingly to uh, whatever your interest is. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go outside and um, we'll go out to the front. Here's the... Alright. Bam. I'm going to make this vegetation, make it grass. That looks good. So now I've got a front yard. Front yard. I'm going to once again return to the rectangle tool. I'm going to actually, why not? One. Oh, this is actually not the tool I'm looking for. I'm looking for the here we go. The arc tool. I'm going to click one, two, three, one, two, three. And let's hope this works. I'm going to use the eraser tool to delete out the interior lines. I'm going to use the push-pull tool and I'm going to push down. And this is going to be our pool. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change There we go, we got some water in there. Now of course what we could do, had I kept this rectangular, is there we go. Actually, that looks pretty good. I'm going to, once again, change this to translucent. And there we go. We got our pool. You can see it from the underground. And that's how you make windows and a pool.